Hey guys, it's Greg. Um, as I'm filming this, it is 8.16 a.m. Um, I tried going to sleep and uh, did not succeed. You're catching me on an all-nighter right now. Uh, I've been pretty busy. I was a mega movie get-together on Screen Junkies with Andre Black Comedy Nerd. Black Nerd Comedy. And then I just, it was, was 4.20 night and then I ended up just watching Friends and... I was awake and just I started reading. I started listening. I cleaned a little bit. Um, feel pretty good though. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? Now is a better time than ever to catch up on some trailers. Jason Bourne, official trailer number one. I haven't seen the Bourne movies in a long time. I was planning on like rewatching them, but I wanted to like watch it with someone who hasn't seen the Bourne movies yet. So I like show them all three. That way I live vicariously through them. I love Matt. You know what I was doing the other day? Um, this was last night actually. I was watching all the videos of that fucking feud between Matt Damon and Jimmy Kimmel. I love Matt Damon. He's so funny. He's such a funny guy. But he's a total badass as Jason Bourne. You know, and he, I'm, I, I'm so, okay. What sucks is Jeremy Renner, he's fucking awesome. He's a cool dude, for sure. And uh, the movie, though, just wasn't, you know, as up to par uh, as, uh, as, as people say. I haven't actually seen it myself. I'm being that guy right now. But hey, you know, I, I'm just gonna maybe skip past that one and watch Jason Bourne. Here we go, Matt Damon! with you, you'll no longer be yourself. Damn, he did look younger ten years ago. I remember. That's right, man. I remember Wrong. everything. Remembering everything doesn't mean you know everything. Oh, dude, older born! Tell me. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Just been that music. Oh, oh, he's back at it. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. No, no fucking way. Tommy Lee Jones is in this. There's a demonstration in front of the Greek Parliament building. Whoa, this looks epic. They tracked you. We gotta move. Okay. Yeah, there you go, Maddie. Uh, oh! Motorcycle. Oh, shit! He's seen things. He knows things. What if he's not coming for us? What if it's something else? Hmm. I volunteered. Because of a lie. Hey, it's Vincent Cass's cellar. This is Jason Bourne. I need to talk. 32 kills. Hell no. People are safer because of what you did. Shit. Oh, shit. No way. Oh, my God. That cost, <laughs> cost a lot of money. You're never going to find any peace. Not till you admit to yourself who you really are. Love that. Wonder what it's really about. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was like... Oh, I love... I, like, the Bourne movies are so... First off... I don't know how it became like Paul Greengrass's uh, franchise, but Doug Lyman, uh, he did the first one and he started this off and I, he did a great job with it. And Paul Greengrass did make, you know, like a more defined version and style. So I, I actually get why Paul Greengrass took over. However, I'm watching it and I'm like, I feel like the director has also evolved as well with, 
you know, Jason Bourne. It doesn't look like they're trying to do something where it's like, we gotta make it look like the last couple Bourne movies, you know? It's been many years since we've done them. Instead of doing that, it looks different. Like the cinematography of it, the way everything feels, it's not as crazy handheld, at least for most of it. Like. The action looked rather clear. Just the whole imagery behind it and the fact that Jason Bourne is, you know, he is older now. He's not like, you know, like Matt Damon's not at like old status, but you know, he's like Jason Bourne for what he has to do. That's, you know, he's aging. He's like, he's kind of like uh, Solid Snake um, in Metal Gear Solid 4. Well, no, not even that old. No, not even that old. My one concern from watching this trailer, I, I felt like they were going a little too Hollywood destruction. So I'm like, the Bourne movies have never been about like the crazy, like their car chase sequences are, you know, they, they're done with like stuntmen and stuff and they look fucking fantastic. And yeah, there's like collisions there and explosions there and whatnot. But you guys know what I mean? Like when they're like crashing through the casino in Vegas, it, it just started, it started feeling a little too much like, Okay, this, this is feeling like Hollywood familiar. Whatever, I pulled an all-nighter. I'm not the greatest at forming my words right now. And dude, Tommy Lee Jones, where's that guy been? Fuck. Was he like in No Country for Old Men? And he like cameoed in Men in Black 3? Oh, dude. Oh, sick addition to the group. I hope he's not like just... It, it, what I like what I'm seeing with the Tommy Lee Jones character, like the Bourne movies always have that head honcho who's like leading the search for Jason Bourne and they're always like, you know, dicks. They're not people you like. But Tommy Lee Jones was seemed like, hey, I kind of like you, you know? I don't know what you're up to, but I think you're a cool cat. And there's some like, you know, Jason Bourne returning stuff, like when that guy was like, that's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Every movie, there's someone freaking out at the screen going, that's Jason Bourne. I like that it's like they're doing something different. I, I feel like they're telling like what could be a new like trilogy in his life, you know? Because actors can always go for franchises and you see like old action stars fucking kill it, man. Liam Neeson, Mel Gibson, he's going to be an old action. Like he's going to be in the action star level. You watch Schwarzenegger, Stallone, even though I hear he's retiring from acting. I'm telling you, Matt Damon is going to fit right in with those guys. <laughs> anyway, dudes, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe today and become a reject. It might be worth your time. Who knows? Uh, you could follow me on uh, Facebook, at The Real Rejects, uh, Instagram, at The Greg Alba, and Twitter, at The Greg Alba, and also at The Real Rejects. And uh, I want to give a shout out to, uh, I don't know her actual name, but her Instagram name is Finding Molly. Now, I noticed she followed me like a while ago, and then I saw her photos, and I'll admit, I was like, you just gotta keep so I'll just to, like follow her back. And I figured she like lived in, like, based off her bio that she lives, it sounds, it just sounds creepy, uh, based off her bio that she lived in the UK. So I just wanted to say hi to her. And uh, she had this photo where she was, you know, wearing some Batman clothing. And she looked really good. She looked really good. Finding Molly. Go look her up. She could, you know, give her some follows. <laughs>